Do you want to learn English, but don't have much time? Do you want to learn how to speak English naturally and fluently? Let me show you five things that you can do in your own home to learn English. You don't need to invest any money. Just follow these five tips to learn to speak English from home. Number one. Watch television in English. One of the best ways to learn English at home is to watch television in English. Turn on your TV to English speaking channels. Have the TV running all day so that you are exposed to it constantly. Learning a language is all about exposure. The more you are exposed to it, the faster you will learn. I understand that this may not work as well as living in an English speaking country, but it will benefit you greatly. If you are unable to find a channel in English on your television, there is always the internet. Watch videos with native English speakers. Believe me, you will learn how to speak English naturally if you watch videos like these. You will also learn things that you would not be exposed to in an English classroom. Practice the vocabulary that you hear and are not yet familiar with. Write down words that you don't know in a journal. Number two. Keep a journal. You should keep a journal of words that you are not familiar with. You should write them all down after you hear them. If you need to, look up the translation. After you have written down the word, say it out loud at least five times so that you can practice your English speaking and pronunciation. As you go throughout your day, take a look at your journal and review the words. This will add and add to your English vocabulary so that you can become more fluent when you speak. Number three, make labels. Especially in the beginning of your English journey, make labels around your house for everything. If you don't know how to say any item in English that is in your house, look it up and put a sticky note on it. As you walk throughout your house during the day, say the words on each sticky note that you see out loud. The more you actually pronounce the words, the more they will stay in your memory. So you are able to utilize them the next time you need to say them. I did this with the two languages that I learned, and it was very beneficial in boosting my vocabulary and also helped to improve my pronunciation. As you increase your vocabulary, you can add more to your sticky notes. Instead of writing down single words, you can now start to write down sentences. For example, you can write down, Now I am going to wash the dishes. Close the door when you leave the house. Put the butter in the refrigerator after you use it. Call mom later tonight. Watch my favorite TV show at 5 p.m. Make the bed after getting out of it. Feed the dog 
two times a day. Restart the computer every night. Clean up desk on Fridays. Turn off lights after leaving the room. These are just some simple examples of things you can write down. Remember, say them out loud as you pass by these labels so you can get the most practice possible. Number four, find an English speaking friend. If at all possible, find a friend whose native language is English. Maybe they are interested in learning Spanish and you can do a language exchange. There are a lot of language exchange websites that you can go to to find a friend. If they are able to talk on the phone or on a video call, set a timer for half of the time that you have to practice. Speak in English for half of the time and then in Spanish for the other half of the time so that you both have time to practice. The most important thing to remember is don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be embarrassed by your mistakes. This is how you actually learn. The more mistakes you make, the faster you will learn. If you would like, ask your friend to correct any errors you make so you are aware of them. You can do the same for them when they make a mistake in your language. Number five, practice with a pet. If you have a pet, this may seem silly, but this is also a great way to practice. Speak to your pet in English all day. Have conversations with your pet in English. They may not be able to actually answer back, but this is a great way to practice your English speaking. When you speak with your pet and make a mistake, you won't feel embarrassed. Speak anything that is on your mind out loud to your pet. Saying your thoughts out loud will help you be able to start to think in English as well. Your pet is your number one companion, is not judgmental, and is always around. Take advantage of practicing English with your pet or your best friend. If you follow these five tips, you will increase your English fluency and vocabulary. You will learn to speak English naturally and at a faster rate. Let me know what you think of this list of tips. If you enjoyed this video, click like down below. Also, subscribe to my channel. Click on the little bell so you receive a notification when I upload new videos. Thanks for being so amazing. You guys are wonderful. I'll see you all next time. Ciao, Blabanitos!